ladies, my name is Eva and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my first impression and a little review of Nabla Secret Palette. So, if you are interested, stay with me a little bit longer. This palette has 15 eyeshadows, there are 6 mattes and the rest are shimmers, metallics and tappers. I'm going to do swatches started from left to right, every row separately. So, in the first row we have color Aesthetic, Contigo, Big Experience, Julietta, Romeo. Now the second row and shades Play Hard, Rosemary, Addiction, Fantasize and Mea Culpa. And the last row, I promise, Hyper Sensual, Ghibli. Creation Crown and Nablak. When swatches are done, let's jump to the makeup. Okay, my brows are done and I applied uh, my Peluise base uh, so we can finally play with some shadows. Because there is no beige in this palette, I'm going to use my translucent powder to set my under brow area. Okay, I am starting with the shade Addiction. It's a very nice teal shade and I'm going to pack it a little bit above my crease. Not bad. Okay, this looks a little bit dramatic. A little bit. <laughs> I know for some of you it's not a little bit, it's uh, very dramatic. Don't worry, I plan to make some more neutral makeup, so there will be something for everybody, I guess. I want to dip this crease even more, so I taking this black hmm. on swatches I wasn't impressed with this black but I must admit that here on eye mm -hmm, nice black it's not very much pigmented but sometimes it's the advantage. In palettes like this, I even like when this black is not so pigmented, but I must admit that this palette is very specific. It's a little bit like Be Perfect uh, Carnival palette in collaboration with Stacey Marie, because swatches of that palette are mm, okay, like nothing crazy, but they are okay. And on eyes, these eyeshadows are like whoa. When I look at this black, I have very similar feeling. Like this watch was mm, not pigmented, all that stuff. But look at how awesome it looks on eyes. It's so amazing. I really wanted to use as many shades as possible, but I don't want to have a rainbow here, so I'm going to do a cut crease. I will tell you my little trick for cut crease. And I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's obvious that I have hooded eyes. 
so I will tell you how I do my cut crease now. Yay! I take a little bit of white concealer and I apply it really close to my lashes. And then I look up, like this. See? This will be my cut crease. Now I can just cover this area with concealer. Now the other eye. Now I try to make them identical. Well, it's okay. It doesn't need to be perfect, you know. I'm taking shade Rosemary. Ro -ro. Rose, rose, rosemary, 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 rosemary. This green one. I will check it how to pronounce it. Don't you worry. Okay, this is really pretty shade. Now I go back to the shade Addiction. And now I am taking this gorgeous black again. Oh yes, you are gorgeous. You are gorgeous. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Rrr. Now I go back to the blending brush. This matte teal shade is prettier than this teal shade in uh, in blue blood palette. I'm I, I I'm sorry. I'm really really sorry, but 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 this is gorgeous. Now I'm taking smaller brush and shade. Play hard. Yes. If you have um, previous Nabla Nabla's palettes, this shade is something between this blue topper from Poison Garden and a honey drip from So Blooming. Something between, because it's not exactly topper, but it has um, like a little bit flakies, like, uh, like honey drip. My buttery flakies, not dry ones. In this palette there is one topper and it's hyper sensual and i hope i will not regret what i want to do now it's quite interesting because this gold blends with this green and now it looks like gold green Well, I think it looks cool. Okay, now what I want to do on my lower eyelid? Maybe I will go in gold. Okay, I'm starting with the shade Ghibli.
You know what I like in Nabla's palettes? Color story. In every single palette, color story is so good. And all shades really matches to each other. I'm taking shade a creation creation crown. By the way, look at me. My my second video and I'm not afraid of talking. I'm taking the same brush I applied the steel shade and I connect my lower eyelid with my upper eyelid. Duh! I'm going back to Ghibli. Now a little bit of black. missing here hmm. do I need something else maybe time for liner but without a wing because I just want to apply some falsies this is the only purpose for this line I wasn't be myself if I would finish here. Here's go some magic. Sorry that I am not talking right now, but in this shit I need to be precise. I know. I got a little bit carried away. Okay. Not a little bit. But it looks nice though. Now the waterline has to be clean. Okay, as you can see behind the scenes, I applied some false lashes. I also applied my foundation, concealers, uh, powders, so all that boring stuff. And I am a cute cat. And now I'm going to add a little bronzer, contouring, stuff like that. So I'm going to contour my face and for this I'm using Nabla um, Shade and Glow in shade Gotham. Maybe only I can see this, but I feel like I am much more confident in this video before I choose my blush I need to choose my lipstick mm -hmm. well new is always the safer choice but the most boring one Yes, 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 I choose this one. This is Bourgeois Rouge Velvet in shade 10. And now the fun part. Now I realize that I forgot <sighs> my highlighter on Cupid's bow. Hmm. It will be fun. But you know, recording without a fail? Where is the fun? I decided to not use any blush, I will use Golden Rose uh, Mineral Tracotta Powder. For highlighter I use uh, I Heart Makeup Dragon's Heart. Woo! 
I did this cupid's bow somehow. Now the only thing is remaining. Now everything is in powders, highlighters and other powdery stuff. That's why the final touch for my brows is one of my last steps. You really before the lipstick. And this step is to apply some brow mascara. Problem is that because I use so many powders, this powder is on my brow hairs now. When I use mascara, I can remove this powder. I need one more thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I'm going to do something with my hair and I'll be right back with my final thoughts. My final thoughts about this palette. Let's start from the beginning. Packaging is stunning. I really like the ornaments. I like how this reflects light, so I think the packaging is really good. Now, about what's inside. For me, layout in this palette is very inspiring. There is some color story, all rows matches to each other. Pinks are matches to golds, golds are matches to browns, uh, greens matches to golds and matches to pinks, so everything is really really good. Today I didn't use all shades, I will, you will even see it because I want to record it. For now my thoughts, my opinion, I like it, I really really do. This is amazing palette but I need to, um, to test it more. About the shades, mattes are creamy in, in touch, they are uh, also like creamy eyeshadows. This is the same formula as in the previous palettes, so it's good. So I really like it, I really like it. This is a really good palette. I think it's cute, I think packaging is stunning. Formula is the same as in others in Nabla's palettes, so for me it's good. I really enjoy doing this makeup today. If you like previous Nabla's palettes, this probably is palette for you too. If you need really great color story with some neutrals, some uh, not neutrals but uh, safe shades like pinks, golds and accent of color in this particular palette is green, go get it because it's really great palette. So this is my final look with the newest Nabla secret palette. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you enjoy it and don't forget to leave your comment down below. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget that you can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and all links for my social media are in the description down below as well as all products that I used today. I love you very, very much and I see you soon. Bye!